Hey, how's it going, guys? Uh, we're gonna do a brief demonstration with a uh, driver junior here. Um, Good afternoon, gentlemen. This is generally what a driver looks at, and then we're using this as a general reference. But for you guys, since you won't be on the road, the most mm -hmm. important thing is doing a visual inspection, making sure there's no major oil leaks in the ground. You know, no diesel leaks, no no uh, death leaks. You want to pop open the hood and you want to actually check your coolant level. You want to check your oil level, a dipstick. And, and if that looks good, uh, you know, you, you can actually check your lights if you guys choose to, you know, turn your lights on, make sure they're all in working condition. Uh, at this point, you know, it, you can do a quick walk around, truck and trailer, same thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this, let's do a quick walk around, you know, just make sure. You know, look, you, you want to look for flat tires. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, you can do a, a quick, quick uh, inspection on all the tires, make sure they're all inflated, you know, not flat. Um, you know, you can also listen for air leaks. If you listen in any major air leaks, you'll be able to hear them. Uh, this one seems pretty good. Always here. check your hydraulic levels. Yeah. Make sure you guys always check your hydraulic levels. Make sure that they're uh, full, so that way you're. There you go. Yep. Make sure your, your levels are good so your trailer works to function properly. You want to make sure these airlines aren't leaking and connected properly as well. Okay. Then we can head over to the back side. Mm -hmm. Same thing as you walk, listen to any air leaks you may. Same thing back here, you know, just do a quick check on tires. Make sure they're inflated and no nails on them and the rear here you know you just want to check for again if you have your lights on signals on uh, any oil leaks anything maybe that is causing the trailer to malfunction I think you got dream on this one you have anything on this uh, yeah on you just want to make sure you know that your, your lights are working properly your belts working good uh, check for any damage on the side make sure you're locked your small pins are working good uh, make sure they're working properly your knuckles and your also your big pins are, are fully functional and all the way out at all times uh, make sure uh, everything is good in that order and cool uh, at this point you know we're just gonna go over uh have junior take over on how to turn on the truck how to uh, activate the pto and then how to work the pro trailer i'm gonna okay. go ahead and get this uh truck started and 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 Kind of go through the whole start of phase of the truck, you know, letting it go through the full cycle when you turn the half key on. After it does the cycle, then you go ahead and turn the vehicle on. Uh, and then what you want to do after that is let the air pressure build up on the primary and secondary tank as you're going to demonstrate right now. Okay, guys, so let's get started. Always when you're entering the truck, remember you guys always want to do safety first. Always use three points of contact, always when you're entering and exiting the vehicle. So now we're just going to get up here and uh, turn your key switch on. And then before you start the truck, you want to actually let the gauge just cycle, your primary and your secondary. Let it cycle first before turning the switch fully on. Um, okay. Once it's fully cycled, so that way you can get to uh, the proper uh, 120 PSI, you can go ahead and turn the switch fully on. So where is that right there? Where's the 120 PSI? Right here. Okay, cool. Let's see? So once you build up air, all the way. Uh -huh. yeah. Basically, I turn the truck on, and then we're gonna go to the cycles right now. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, activate the PTO now. Okay. So the PTO's the PTO is on this side. It has a switch here, a lever, engaging in, and you have to put the lever down. To engage it once it's engaged you can start to uh, work your belts control and your uh, levers in the back of the trailer okay so let's get started in the back so we have the pto activated now so first thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, unplug the trailer This allows your back hatch small door to open. Right, come over here, you open up the latch. 
Now here you have a total of five controls. Your first, your first control is for the for the small door, small hatch door. Your third control is for your big lock pins, which are these ones right here. The, the third button one is for your is for the small teeth knuckles right here. These knuckle pins. And then fifth you have your belt control and then your big door hatch opener right here. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and open up first of all the little small door here, which allows you to correctly open up the big hatch door. We got number two. Number two is your big lock pins. Then you want to open these up. Then you want to walk around and make sure that they fully opened up because if you sometimes this one gets a little bit stuck, you want to make sure they're fully open. Once you've checked them and see that they're both fully open, then you can proceed to open up your small knuckles. You want to check those as well. As soon as you open, you come back over here and make sure they're both open. See that they're both open. You can engage and open up now the the big door safely. Your back latch door, which is this one here in the middle. Go ahead and proceed. And you're going to open up the big hatch door. Once your hatch door is, you want to give enough clearance. So you can walk under it safely, so you don't hit your head or anything. Always wear your hard hat. As you can see now, we have here the inside of the trailer. Everything's nice and good, nice and clean. No material in it. Try to get as much material out as possible. So then you come back over here. Now you can safely operate your bow control. This is your bow control here. Now remember, when you guys have the material on the truck, there's so much pressure put up, so you want to do it slowly first. You don't want to just crank it, because if you crank it while you have all the material on there, you can break the chain. You want to start off slow and then easily work your way up to it. Remember, always take care of your equipment. The equipment will take care of you. Then run and cycle. Voila. Exactly where you're gonna stop it at. Run it a little bit more, right there's good. Now you're gonna just do your steps from now from five to one. So you stop the belt, belt trailer here, you're gonna close the your big hatch door now. Wanna make sure we stay away from that. Yes. Yep. Once you see your once you close this, you just gotta finesse it a little bit. Then you're gonna do your knuckle pins. You're gonna make sure that they fully lock on both sides. Make sure they're both locked on both sides. And now you're gonna do your big lock pins. You're gonna do the same thing. Make sure that they both close correctly on both sides. Now we're gonna do your small latch door. Now, if the, if the door doesn't line up with the chain, you can always just move the chain a little bit forward just so you don't bend the, the, the seal. Close it. Then you proceed. Put your small lock pins. And now your load is secure and you're ready to go. Make sure your load is secure. Once your load is secure, you put your tarp back on. Up. Easy peasy. Now your load is complete. You're ready to go deliver. You're good, baby.